and then we're going to add a space bar at the end. Actually, no, let's, let's not add the space bar. And then we just print out that user response. Okay, so let's run this. Let's run this. We can do, uh, let's run it here. So it's gonna, the program's going to ask us, what is your name? Now, as you can see here, it's right next to the W, which is, is fine for some people, but I don't really like it. So we can add the extra space here to get rid of that. So we can say, my name is Ali, and then it's going to give me that. So, um, we're just going to add this, and it's, it's supposed to be your age. Some, uh, okay. So, now we can ask what's your age, and it's going to store that value in a variable, and we can print out that value here. So, as you can see, it just prints it out. Um, so, the next thing that we want to do is that we want to check if that, ver if that age is going to be... Um, above or below a certain value so we can say we use the if expression so we can say if user response is going to be so we got four of these operations we have equals equals which means that if this value is, is equal exactly to this other value we have greater than or equal to we have less than or equal to we have less less than greater than not equal to and these are all of them these are all of them here so let's explain what these are so Equal equals kind of does what you expect it would um, to do. It's going to check if something is equal to something else. Greater than unless the greater than or equal. To, sorry, this is yeah. Greater than. Uh, this should be. Uh, so yeah, this is um, less than or equal to. I believe. Yeah, this is less than or equal to. We're going to check if the value is less than or equal to something. This is many for numerical stuff, and the same here. Less than, and this is just greater than. So these two um. These two are without the equal to part. Then we also have not equal to. Sorry, some we're checking if some variable is not equal to something else. So for this one, we're going to want to um, use these ones. These um, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So let's just delete everything um, here. So you can say if user response is going to be less than or is going to be equal to ten, which is the age we want to first check. Or well, we can print out your age seems to be less than then we can say 10 and then here so you can say your age seems to be less than 10 but we also want to check okay if this is if this is um, expression evaluates to false which means that the user's age is going to be greater than 10 then we want to uh, we want to print out some other message so you can say else print out your age is greater than 10 so let's run this we can do python name dot py it's going to ask what's your age i can say uh let's say 30 and then it's going to say okay we got an error so it appears that type error not support um this operator is not supported between instances of str and int okay so what appears to be um, happening here is that let's just comment out all of these lines to uh, get rid of them for now. Okay. So let's. This is a function called. Um, you can do type, and then you can call user response, which will tell us the the data type which this um, variable is. So let's run this script. Um, this script again. Let's say ten, and it's going to. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to print it out. Let's say 10, 190. It says class str. So as I said before, this operator less than, greater than, equal, um, less than and greater than, with the equals and that equals, is mainly for numbers. So what we can do instead is we can cast this. We can do something called casting. So we can cast this variable to another data type. So here I want to cast this to an int, which we um, I covered this in the last video. But you can do here int. Then if we save this and run this again, you can do uh, let's say. 30 again and now it works because we just said this is going to be an integer now so it seems like your age seems to be less than 10 okay uh let's say your age seems to be less than or equal to uh, less than or equal to 10 and then here you go now here it looks like you can only check for ages of 10 and then we just say if it's not equal to 10 then obviously you're greater. But what if we be more specific like if we can say 
your age seems to be less than or great or equal to 20 or you can say something like that so we can use the elif statement and remember the elif statement is only evaluated if this if statement above it is equal to false so you can say if int user response actually no instead of just repeatedly doing this what we can say is is that um we are going to uh you can just put this here then we can say user response oops uh for some reason it doesn't help user response is equal to this which means that whenever we're referring to user response is going to turn into an integer first so we can now do user uh, response and then we can do the same here so say user is going to be let's say if user response is going to be greater than or equal to 20 say your age seems to be greater than or equal to 20 So if you say let's say 25, we can say okay, it didn't work here. Your age is to be less than or equal to 10. Oh, sorry, this is my fault. Uh, this is the worst one. And I have to stop this around. Hmm. So it doesn't actually appear to work. Uh, oops, this is my fault. Uh, if user response is going to be greater than 20, this should be working to be honest. Oh, sorry, yeah, it was working. Oh, sorry, yeah, now it works. So you can say your A seems to be greater than or equal to 20. So that's how if our statements work. And we also have elif in there. So that's how this. Um, this is how this kind of control flow works and as you can see it kind of helps us control how information is being passed through our program as we can do different things depending on what the information is equal to and now this allows us to build more complex logic and do a lot more things with our programs so I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope that you found it informative and if you did enjoy it I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video and that's it from me today bye equal um less than and greater than or the equals and that equals is mainly for numbers so what we can do instead is we can cast this we can do something called casting so we can cast this variable to another data type so here i want to cast this to an int which we um i covered this in the last video but you can do here int then if you say this and run this again you can do uh, let's say 30 again and now it works because we just said this is going to be an integer now so it seems like your age seems to be less than 10. Okay. Uh, I say your age seems to be less than or equal to uh, less than or equal to 10. And then here you go. Now here it looks like we can only check for ages of 10. And then we just say if it's not equal to 10 then obviously you're greater. But what would be more specific like if we can say your age is be less than or great or equal to 20 or you can say something like that so we can use the elif statement and remember the elif statement is only evaluated if this if statement above it is equal to false so you can say if int user response actually no instead of just repeatedly doing this what we can say is is that um we are going to uh you can just put this here then we can say user response oops uh, for some reason, maybe as well. User response is equal to this, which means that whenever we're referring to user response, is going to turn into an integer first. So we can now do user uh, response, and then we can do the same here. So can user is going to be let's say if user response is going to be greater than or equal to 20 say your age seems to be greater 
set that all equal to 20. So you can say let's say 25. You can say, okay, it didn't work here. Your age seems to be less than or equal to 10. Oh, sorry, this is my fault. Uh, Let's see if it works. Uh, let's stop this around. Let's see if we can find. Hmm. So, it doesn't actually appear to work. Uh, oops, this is my fault. Uh, if user response is going to be greater than 20, this should be working, to be honest. Oh, sorry, yeah, it was working. Oh, sorry, yeah, now it works. So you can say your age seems to be greater than or equal to 20. So that's how if our statements work. And we also have elif in there. So that's how this um, that's how this kind of control flow works. As you can see, it kind of helps us control how information is being passed through our program as you can do different things depending on what the information is equal to. And now this allows us to build more complex logic and do a lot more things with our programs. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope that you found it informative. And if you did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. And that's it for me today. Bye.